All right, so we have a complex number, and we want to see how to go from trigonometric form to rectangular form. This is trigonometric form, okay? So I want to go to rectangular form. Well, this is just 2 times the cosine of 300 plus i times the sine of 300. Well, now we've got to figure out what cosine 300 and sine 300 is. So some of you probably probably have the unit circle memorized, others don't. So if you have the unit circle memorized, then you already know what it is, the cosine and sine of 300. Okay, so those that don't memorize the unit circle, we use reference angles. So let's let's do that. So there's 300 degrees. And by the way, you should know how to do this already at this point in trig. Okay, so this is our reference angle, but I'm going to go over it anyway. We use our reference angle to evaluate the sine and cosine of 300. So let's find the reference angle. So our reference angle is going to be 360 minus this, so minus 300. So our reference angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so that's how that's what we're going to use to calculate these. So what's the cosine of 60? It's one half. Okay. Now, see that just gives us the value one half square root of three over two, whatever. But now we have to look and see what quadrant we're in, and you can see we're in the fourth quadrant, and cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. So that means it's just positive one half. Okay? Plus I times now the sine of 300. Well, what's the sine of 60? It's square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Square root of 3 over 2. Well, which quadrant am I in? Fourth. So that means it's negative, okay? And then we can distribute the two. And so that's going to give me one, and then that's going to be minus i square root of three, because the twos cancel there. And that would be rectangular form. All right, so let's look at another one. All right, so how about this one? All right, so this is going to be square root of 2 times, and then we have cosine 23 plus i sine 23. Now, 23 is not, is not a uh, special angle, you know, the 30, 45, 60. So we'll put this into our calculator. So cosine 23, make sure your calculator's in degrees. That is, and I'm going to just round these. 0.920, I'm going to round them to four decimals, plus, and then the sine of 23, that is going to be 0.3907i, okay, and then I'll distribute square root of 2, so we'll do that in our calculator, square root of 2 times 0.9 205. That is 1.3018 plus, and then square root of 2 times 0 0.3907 is 0 0.5525i. And that would be your solution. <coughs> Alright, so I hope that helped. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Alright, thanks.